Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the greatest, well, second greatest show on earth. Boys and girls, it's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok, bok. Morning time, morning time, count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time, bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Hi boys and girls, my name is Calliope. My papa is the ringmaster with the traveling circus. I want to join that circus and one day I will. But for now, I'm here in the circus's winter home in Calico Valley and I'm practicing my skills as a clown. One day, when I get them just right, my papa will send for me, and he'll let me run the carnival sideshow with the circus. And with me here are some of my best friends. Some of them want to be in the sideshow, too. Good morning, Crumb Snatcher. Why are you wearing sunglasses? <laughs> what do you mean it's too bright? It's no brighter than any other day. <laughs> Too much color? <laughs> Crumb Snatcher, I've never heard of such a thing. There is no such thing as too much color. Color is what makes everything so beautiful. You wouldn't want to live in a place where there wasn't any color. Actually, there is such a place. It's on the other side of Patchwork Mountain. And it's called Harlequin Town. Well, it's not that they don't have much color there. They don't have any color there. Everything is in black and white. <laughs> oh no, I'm not making this up. Harlequin Town is real. But you have met someone from there. What? Won't Go Away is from Harlequin Town. Well, if he ever wakes up from his nap, <laughs> you can ask him about it. Right now, I'm going to go see if Penelope is up yet. Boys and girls, it's no joke. Calliope will be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Calliope. I wanted to ask you, which one of my friends here at the caravan is your favorite? Would you like to have a picture of that friend? If you would, tell your parents to send me an email at calliope.clown at yahoo.com and let me know which one you like the best. Ask your parent to put in your mailing address and I'll send you a picture of your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. Good morning, Penelope. Good morning, Calliope. How are things at the zoo today? Well, the giraffes are looking for tall trees to munch on, and the zebras are hanging around talking to each other. Seeing you play with the zoo animals reminds me of the crumb snatcher. He just wondered why everything is so colorful in Calico Valley today. That's a funny thing for him to say. He's the brightest yellow I've ever seen. I know. And whenever I told him about Harlequin Town, where everything is in black and white, he didn't believe me. 
Wow, everybody here knows that Won't Go Away is from Harlequin Town. And sometimes I wish he would at least go back and visit. You do? Why? So I can get back into my donkey cart again. It's been a long time since I had a chance to take a nap there. Good morning, Haymon. Good morning, Mon. How are things on the dry land? As fine as always. How about in the wishing well? Just the way I like them, Mon. Soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mon, do you think things are just too colorful here? Here? In Calico Valley? Mon, there ain't no such thing as being too colorful. Remember, I'm from Jamaica. Color is everywhere in Jamaica. I agree with you, hey, Mon. Mon, why do you ask such an odd question? It's the crumb snatcher. He was wearing sunglasses this morning, saying there was just too much color. Mon, if he thinks there's too much color here, he ought to check out Harlequin Town. I have a friend who lives over there, and she, just like everyone else there, is black and white only, Mon. She's a really nice fish, a pretty fish, but no color. I know what you mean. I told the crumb snatcher that won't go away is from Harlequin Town, but he just didn't believe me. Well, if won't go away doesn't convince him, maybe you should ask someone from over there to come visit here, Mon. Hey, Mon, that's a great idea. Let me see if I can work that out. Thank you. No problem, Mon. Happy to help. So, you still think there's just too much color around here today, Crumb Snatcher? I'll tell you what. I'll get someone from Harlequin Town to come over here and meet you. It'll do you a power of good to meet someone that's different than you. Don't be silly. It's always a good idea to meet someone who's different than you. Think back. You'll remember when you and your family first came here to Calico Valley to the caravan. You're the only crumb snatchers here, and we made you feel welcome. I bet that you'll like them. Living in a town that's in black and white is different, but it's not that much different. Hello, operator. This is Calliope. Could you connect me with Rosie over in Harlequin Town? Thank you. Hello, Rosie. This is Calliope in Calico Valley. I'm doing just fine, thank you, and I hope you are too. Well, I was calling to see if you'd like to come over to the caravan for a visit. I'll ask Giuseppe to make a nice lunch, and you can play with everybody. Wonderful. See you soon. Goodbye. Boys and girls, we're going to have some really special company. Rosie is coming over from Harlequin Town, and you'll get to meet her after these messages. We'll be right back. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Calliope. I wanted to ask you, which one of my friends here at the caravan is your favorite? Would you like to have a picture of that friend? If you would, tell your parents to send me an email at calliope.clown at yahoo.com and let me know which one you like the best. Ask your parent to put in your mailing address and I'll send you a picture of your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. Hi boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. Oh, Calliope, I'm so excited. It's been a long time since Rosie was here to play. Yes, it has, and I'm looking forward to seeing her too. I wanted her to come over and tell Crumb Snatcher all about Harlequin Town but I'll make sure you get a chance to play with her. It's hard for me to believe that the Crumb Snatcher doesn't believe Harlequin Town is real. Even won't go away wouldn't convince him. But maybe when Rosie comes, he'll believe me. 
Did I hear you say we're gonna have a special guest today, Calliope? Good morning. Yes, you did, Giuseppe. Rosie from Harlequin Town is coming over to visit, and I thought maybe we could make a special lunch for her. That's a no problem. I love it to make a good meal for our friends from a Harlequin Town. And it'll be an extra colorful meal too, right? Especially the food. Oh, well, you better believe it. The folks from a Harlequin Town are a different, and a Giuseppe can appreciate a that. And you know how much I like a cook of new things for a visitors to make them feel special. That's why I'm turning it all over to you, Giuseppe. Let's see. I know the monkey is already left on his morning of delivery, so I'm a plan a nice lunch and call him with another order later. That sounds like a plan, Giuseppe. <coughs> Happy Monkey is here now. Good morning, Calliope. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Here's Giuseppe's grocery order for this morning. I'll be glad to give it to him, but I think he's going to be calling in another order before you get to the market. Another order? Did he forget to put something in this one? Well, I've asked my friend Rosie to come visit from Harlequin Town. And whenever we have any Harlequins come over here, Giuseppe likes to make an extra colorful meal for them. What did he say? He asked what kind of foods does someone living in a black and white town eat? Well, I make a lot of deliveries to Harlequin Town, and yes, their food is black and white as well. They eat a lot of potatoes, rice, licorice, and things like that. He said it sounds boring and not a place he would like to be. That reminds me of a joke. What's black and white and red all over? I don't know either. What is black and white and red all over? A newspaper. Get it? The print is black on white paper, and when you get it, you read it, and then it's red all over. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I agree, Crumb Snatcher. That was awful. But thank you for the joke, Happy Monkey, and for the groceries, too. You're welcome, Calliope. Have a happy day filled with joy. Good morning, Mr. McCall. And a top of the morning to you too, Bonnie Lassie. I've only one thing for you today. A card from the Traveling Circus. It's from Mama. I'll read it in just a minute. Hey, Mr. McCall, do you deliver mail over in Harlequin Town? I lass, that I do. Why do you ask? Crumb Snatcher thought it's too colorful here. And he didn't believe me when I told him about Harlequin Town, so I asked Rosie to come visit today. You know, Calliope, I wish I could take yon crumb snatcher with me when I'm flying over the area. If you think it's colorful down here, you should see it from up there. It's not too colorful, though, is it? Lass, there's no such thing as being too colorful. Now, if you'll pardon me, I must be away. A lot of mail to deliver. Give Rosie me best, please, and I'll see you soon. Bye, Mr. McCall. Boys and girls, let's read this beautiful card from Mama. Dearest Calliope, I saw this card in a gift shop and it made me think of you. Why, you ask? Because it's so colorful. I was thinking how wonderful it is that we live in such a colorful world. The circus is very colorful, and of course it's certainly colorful in Calico Valley. I'm just so thankful that we live in a world that's so colorful. Aren't you? Until the fall, with love from Papa and me, Mama. Rosie's coming, boys and girls, and we'll see her in just a minute after these messages. Hi, boys and girls, it's me, Calliope. I wanted to ask you, which one of my friends here at the caravan is your favorite? Would you like to have a picture of that friend? If you would, tell your parents to send me an email at calliope.clown at yahoo.com and let me know which one you like the best. Ask your parent to put in your mailing address and I'll send you a picture of your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you. Hi boys and girls, I'd love to hear from you. Please write to me at Calliope, P.O. Box 1995, LaGrange, Georgia, 30241. And now, back to the caravan. 
Hi boys and girls, welcome back. There's someone here I want you to meet. This is my friend Rosie. Hi Clive, he thanks for inviting me over. Well thank you for coming Rosie. Say, there's somebody I want you to meet. Crumb Snatcher. I'm sorry, I didn't understand what he said. He said he can't believe it, that you're in black and white. Everybody in Holden Town is the same way. Hmm. Clappy, you look as still beautiful and as colorful as ever. That's why I love to come visit Calico Valley sometimes. Of course, we're happy to have you visit. As much as I love Holden Town, it's nice to see all the beautiful colors here. What did he say? He asked, how can you live in a place with no color? That's easy. Boom. That's why I was born. <laughs> this is why I wanted you to come over, Rosie. I told Crumb Snatcher about Harlequin Town and he didn't believe me. But I also wanted to see you. Let me tell you about Harlequin Town. Everything there's black and white. That's where I was born. That's where my family lived. <laughs> I always be a Holocron and I don't want to change and I can't change. It's important to always be your true self. Would you want to be something else instead of a crumb snatcher? I think I'm starting to understand. How was everyone? Well, Penelope's in the caravan waiting for you to come over. And Giuseppe's getting breakfast ready. I gotta see if I can find them. I ate breakfast before I came over, Clive. Pizza, you go ahead and eat. <laughs> Boys and girls, when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's Thought of the Day. And the thought of the day is, be happy with who you are. The world is a very colorful place. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. And for you, Penelope. Here you go, Bok Bok. Hey, Mon, breakfast. Boys and girls, my fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. Daisy, do you deliver milk to Harlequin Town? You don't have to. Why is that? They have their own black and white cows. <laughs> I think I get it. Thank you for the milk, Daisy, and have a great day. Thank you, Giuseppe. You're welcome, Calliope. I just finished making up at a menu for lunch and gonna call it a monkey and order the groceries. I think a Rosie she gonna like how colorful everything is. With you being in charge of it, Giuseppe, how could it be anything but perfect? It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope's going to help us. Fork on the left, fork on the left, spoon on the right, spoon on the right. Plate in the middle, plate in the middle, cup right here, cup right here, napkin in the lap, napkin in the lap. When you set the table right, it makes meal time a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And remember, next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. Be happy with who you are. And remember, always do your best 
and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.